On January 11, 2021, Hood River City Council stepped back from almost two years of work spent to plan for a new police facility. The upshot of the 40-minute discussion was that councillors felt that the work they and staff had done for the past two years ignored or overlooked critical issues. The past two years of work had started with the assumption that the final facility would be what they called a new purpose-built police station. Instead, councillors now believe that working with the county and a number of social service agencies is needed to produce a facility that meets many community needs other than policing. Whether that facility can be funded and built is a different issue. How did councillors spend two years of time? Police have been using the city hall basement since 2010, and in 2019, the council decided it was time to work on what they call a purpose-built police station, a facility built for policing. With a focus on just police needs, the council approved $48,000 in early 2019 for initial design and site analysis and sent city council members Kate McBride and Megan Saunders along with city staff on field trips to visit other police stations. With agreement that they'd need a little over 13,000 square feet for the building, the councilors moved on to argue about the best site, settling on the Columbia lot in downtown. The city was trying to move fast to take advantage of expiring fire station bonds, hoping to get voter approval for police station construction without needing to add on more taxes. Brief discussions came from time to time about sharing space with the sheriff's office, and the city moved ahead with site planning. By late August 2020, the city's finance director suggested that the county's tax levy measure success meant the county might have the funds to consider working towards a joint facility. The county had already spent significant time in 2015 considering facility plans to replace the state's worst courthouse. County commissioners were willing to explore a joint project, but wanted to know the project cost. Staff estimated that the updated joint facility project cost planning was expected to take $125,000 to $200,000 in consultant fees, and city councilors directed staff to present a bid proposal for the new review in order to provide more information to the county with the county sharing some of the cost. In early January, county five-year planning workshops, there was little mention of the Joint Community Services Building. Then, in the January 11th city meeting, instead of approving solicitations for the combined city-county facility, councillors talked about starting over with a focus on joint facility and community social services. So I'm just going to be blunt and brief guys that I am not interested in pursuing a city police department on our own and this is not a priority project for me for the year for 2021. Uh, I would consider moving forward if the county is on board and that from the beginning we are stating we need to have all of these folks involved with the city and the county from the beginning. I've been thinking about this a lot, but where I'm where I'm at is um, I don't see any way we're going out for a bond um, this year. Uh, honestly, probably not even in 22, given the world. Uh, right now, I don't think a standalone city facility is something I'm interested in pursuing right now. It it would be really important to this community, both in the city and in the county, for for us to to give it a real shot with the county. Um, to build collaboration and, and build partnership and, and ideally get to a point where we have um, a joint facility, ideally with also a lot of other community partners. I, I think that this RFP is 80% final text, but I think that we have to have, before it can go out, that we have to have the program discussion with the county because uh, otherwise we're just going to have to repeat it. In the conversation to include these other things and actually expanding these conversations to actually incorporate and discuss some of the things that we're thinking with the county <clears throat> um, I think is going to be very helpful as well. Um, I understand and, and support what my other fellow counselors have said. I at the same time read that um, you know like Will said, you know, 20 years ago, we talked about this because it was something that we needed and nothing happened. And, and I don't think it, the current police facility is adequate. It's not serving our 
is not protecting our victims, it's not protecting our suspects, it's not professional, um, it's not serving the community. Um, do still need to be making this a priority, even if it's, you know, prioritizing having those conversations right now, because, because I think we do need to get moving on something. Um, um, knowing I'm, I'm, you know, I've been summarizing what everyone is saying here, or the, the you know, what I think is the general consensus of, of most of us. Um, and I, um, I agree. Um, the atmosphere right now to get a bond through without doing some more work ahead of time, um, I think would be foolhardy. But adding the county and the city together, and I'd rather do city and county together, don't get me wrong, I absolutely think it would be better. Um, but I think that the ask that would have to be made um, in this atmosphere would not pass right now. Now, if we do the work, it's possible that it will pass in a couple years. So that, that's, you know, my caveat. Um, what comes next? The county commissioners completed their third five-year strategic planning workshop a week or so ago, but it looks like they'll have to take up this new question. Mayor McBride presented the city council's concerns to the commissioners on January 19th, but the question about even general estimates of costs arose with Chair Mike Oates asking, sure, can you just add a few rooms for us? By the end of the brief discussion, commissioners seemed to understand and agree that exploring the joint facility was, a u was useful, that they'd want to retain the 2015 work already done, and that Karen Joplin, Arthur Babbitts, and Sheriff Matt English would join a subcommittee with council members to start again. And for the final next move. And recognize that I fully aware, and I'm just speaking for myself, that what the police department has now in regards to, you know, that ugly couch where victims are coming and sitting in, I don't think that's appropriate. I think we should look into some temporary solutions to try and fix that, um, but not building a brand new facility.